The national supply chain shortage is impacting businesses, so not just wineries, businesses across the board, even in Fort Wayne. Fox 55's Kelsey Mannix spoke to two local restaurants to see which items they've had trouble getting and how they've adjusted to the shortage. If you've eaten at Coney Island in the last few months, you may have noticed some changes with their cups. We've switched from paper to styrofoam, and then those ran out, so we've gone back to paper. So it all depends. We're going every avenue we can to get any supply we can. They're not the only restaurant that's been affected by the national supply chain shortage, but it's not just paper products. 816 Pine and Slice manager Rachel Valenza says it's food items, too. If it's a salad dressing or if it's a type of dough or if it's a type of lettuce, yeah, hard to get. Coney Island co-owner Jimmy Toteron says they ran out of their classic Coke bottles at one point because of a glass shortage. It's hard because Coney Island, they're used to a certain thing. Our customers are used to uh, certain brands. Purdue Fort Wayne economics lecturer John Kessler says multiple factors are causing the shortage, including a lack of raw materials and shipping issues. It's not just one thing, but all it takes is one thing to cause a problem. He says there's an increased demand for products too because people have more money to spend after the pandemic. The average person has 50% uh, more cash on hand today than they did two years ago. Valenza says it hasn't affected business too much and they've only had to temporarily remove items from the menu at times. Everybody just has to be patient. If we don't have the spinach today, we'll get it next week. In Fort Wayne, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News. And Kessler said it could potentially be one or two years before the shortage is resolved.